Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and I want to show you how to use a splash screen but using API without any extra uh, fragment or activity and everything will be implemented in the main activity. Let me show you the emulator here. I have created a new project and uh, I didn't change anything in this project. Uh, when I'm opening the application, as you see, there is a blank page before uh, the hello world appears. Let me show you again. This blank page. This is the actual splash screen. And uh, in the Android version 12 and higher, we have this. Uh, we just need to uh, like customize it and make the changes, implement a logo or everything or animation on it or a background or change the duration of it or something like that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, in my channel, I showed you how to implement uh, a splash screen, but using navigation components uh, and uh, fragment like this with the animation and the text and everything. But in this video, uh, we will not uh, create any other fragment or activity. So if you are ready, uh, leave a like hit the subscribe button and let's get started uh, for this uh, I have my logo here in the drawable folder and I'm going to use it and uh, in the build.gradle we want to uh, implement uh, like the dependency and uh, let me show you where you can find it uh, if you search for the splash screen API or go to this address uh, developer.100.com develop, uh, develop UI views launch splash screen uh, you will find this page uh, I will put this address in the description of this uh, video down below uh, you can find it easily this is a very very good uh, explanation a good documentation about the splash screen uh, and anything you need is here like the elements that you will have the main picture the background of the picture and the main background of the page and uh, the sizes that you should follow uh, to have the good uh, view of your uh, animation or photo in the middle of the screen uh, uh, then uh, the steps that the splash screen uh, will follow uh, to be showed up and then we will be redirected to the activity you can find everything here and even if you have animation instead of image you can use it uh, you see this is animation is a gif type uh, animation and here is the dependency I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it here uh, as I told you from the Android uh, 12 version or higher uh, automatically we have this but uh, if your target application is uh, API 21 or something like that you have to uh, implement this so click the sync And in the main activity, we have to uh, write some code uh, to implement a delay and make uh, this splash screen longer. So here I'm going to write uh, run blocking, which is a small part of the coroutine scope. And install a splash screen. And then delay and 4000 milliseconds uh, which will be four seconds and that's cool uh, let's check it on the emulator Oh, 
okay you see this blank page stays longer and then the hello world appears so now we are controlling the splash screen now let's uh, implement our theme on it uh, for this here in the values uh, in the theme we have a style uh, that automatically uh, after launching any application will be displayed will be implemented on the application uh, we need to create our own style for the splash screen now uh, i'm going to right click on the theme new values resource and i'm going to call it a splash okay and here between these two uh, tags uh, i'm going to write the thing that we want so first let's start with the style uh, it needs a name i'm going to call it theme dot app dot uh starting or a splash or anything you want you can call it with the capital s and then here parent uh team splash screen now between these two tags we have to implement some uh, more things here in the documentation you can find them first of all uh, window splash screen background color which is a color type uh, you can use the color resources uh, the window splash screen uh, animated icon which is the logo that i'm going to use uh, to show it if you have any animation you can use your animation then the animation duration which is related to the animation and i'm not going to use it here and some more things uh, you can read this documentation by yourself to get more familiar with this uh, here i'm going to use uh, the window splash screen background and i'm going to write like a simple color Uh, this is this gray color and then here another item and the uh, window a splash a screen uh, animated uh, icon and add sign drop logo the first line then uh, the next thing is uh, we have to tell the uh, compiler that after this theme that we are creating for the splash screen which theme should be displayed uh, as i told you this is the main theme of the application here and uh, if you see this is the name of this theme theme and then the name of the application the name of the project is here splash screen api example uh, so we should mention that after this splash theme this one should be displayed and i'm going to mention it here so host uh, splash screen theme and here uh, style slash uh, that name dot the name of the app which was a splash screen uh, api example this one. okay that's cool and uh, the next thing we should go to the manifest and as you see here uh, in the application the opening uh, theme will be this main theme so we should change it to the splash theme and here instead of this 
splash screen API I'm going to write the uh, start yeah, sorry it was app but starting and here for the activity the same after this true uh, you should copy this line and i think everything is done let's uh, check it on the emulator again okay the background color and the logo and after four seconds automatically will go to the main activity uh, but as you saw uh, let me show you again the image that uh, i have implemented here is cropped uh, that's exactly because i didn't follow this document documentation and i didn't care about the sizes that is mentioned here so if you want to have a good photo uh, you should follow uh, like the tips these sizes that are mentioned here okay that was everything about this video and if you want to uh, like be familiar with having a splash screen using a navigation component and uh, onboarding a screen uh, just like that i've implemented here and you haven't watched those videos uh, you can uh, click on this link i don't know somewhere here in the top and watch this video as well thank you for your time uh, thank you for your support if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe and give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched by more people uh, have a good time bye bye